Hello, welcome to Tabletop CP, and Merry Christmas to everybody. It's Christmas morning, and in the spirit of Christmas, we're going to be doing a very special mystery unboxing of a mystery gift. So our good friend Chris Reed, a good friend of the channel, has sent us a box, a very big box, full of stuff that I told him we would open up and go through on Christmas morning. So here we are. So Chris has opened an Etsy store called Panacea Prints. And he offers tons of 3D printed stuff. I looked through it. There's just a lot of stuff there. It all looks super good. So um, go ahead and check out his store. Put a link in the description. And hang around to the end of the video as there's going to be a really awesome giveaway for that store as well. So let's check out and see what's inside the box. All right. So here we go. We get one take at this. So I can't screw it up. So we're just going to go ahead and open the box right here. I have no idea what's in here. He said it's just a bunch of stuff. So let's take a look and see what the Panacea prints have sent to Tabletop CP. So, okay, well, it's all individually wrapped. Uh, we'll just go through some of these. So what do we got here? We got a motorcycle. Super awesome. And these are all resin printed. Looks like we got uh, some stowage. Bed rolls, ammo cans, sacks. Oh man, look at all these things. So we got some um, civilian vehicles. Very nice. So the resin prints are super nice. You can see there's no lines or anything. It's just all very smooth. These are actually the first time I've seen a resin print. And they are very nice. And quite hefty as well. And we got another civilian vehicle here and a panel truck uh, keep on going here so what do we got here we got a tetrarch tetrarch tank so that's pretty cool and we continue we got a uh, some kind of armored car like a British armored car. Machine gun sticking out of the back. And the, <laughs> the box just keeps on going here. So what we got next? We got a SU-85. This will come in handy for my new... Uh, it's missing a gun though, apparently. Maybe it's in another bag. But this will come in handy for my... Um, New Soviet Winter Army. Press on here. It's going to go through all these. A Chi Nu. Some kind of Japanese tank. It's very nice. Again, resin print. There's like zero lines on it. I mean, it could be almost like a plastic model. So that looks really good. We got some... Uh, French flamethrower team. Now oh, that's awesome. This is the kind of random stuff you'll find on his website. A French flamethrower team. 3D printed. So yeah, that's pretty cool. Yeah, we dig deeper. Uh, let's see, we got another tank down here. It's like a Sturm Tiger. So. I can put that into my winter Germans. It's a uh, resin Sturm Tiger. That goes good for the winter Germans. Again, it's very smooth. Lots of good detail there, even inside that gun barrel, all those little holes, the machine gun. Yeah, these resin prints are actually really nice. And we got another truck, a Fiat truck. I can go for my Italians, and we keep going here. What do we got here? It's a well, covered well, okay, super cool. Like he said, it was just a bunch of stuff he was sending. I'm gonna press on here. Smoke markers. Uh, a Jeep. A US uh, Jeep. Take a little look at that. It's really nice. Most of this stuff will probably go towards my winter 
Americans or all my winter stuff. So I don't have a winter Jeep. So that'll be good for that. Oh man, this box just keeps on going here. We got a Pan Hard 178. This is 156 scale. Uh, what's this? Uh, trying to make this video last too long, but there's so much stuff in here. A Nashorn. So that is something I definitely don't have. This is the open top to light armored. I think it's a super heavy anti tank gun on it. Super smooth. So that is an interesting unit. Should be fun to try out. Moving right along here, we got AT dogs. Quite a few of them. Anti tank dogs for the Soviets, and enough for both of my Soviet armies, winter and summer. There's plenty in here. That's seven. Seven or eight anti tank dogs. Uh, what do we got here? Rolls Royce armored car, an AT rifle, a dingo, and a universal carrier. Amazing stuff here. So, and what do we got this? Here? This is a pillbox bunker. That looks pretty neat. All scarred up. Super cool. We'll keep going. T34. Perfect for my winter Soviets. And here we have a. There's <laughs> so much stuff in here. It's a uh, heavy howitzer. Four. French, yeah, French heavy howitzer. That's super cool. So we'll set that there. Stern Tiger, I'm getting everything kind of mixed up here as I'm trying to get through this. We're almost to the end here. Remember, stick around. We're going to do a giveaway at the end here. So this is a. What is this? Laffy a Laffly AT truck. This is one of those uh, rear-firing 4T type things. So you have to turn backwards to shoot, but a unique unit for sure that I definitely don't have. And let's see here, what's this? So we're getting some bigger stuff now. This is, what is this? More terrain. Looks like some uh, fences. Not sure what this is. Some kind of terrain piece. Maybe a uh, barn of some type. We'll have to check that out. Uh, here we go. Some more stuff. This is amazing. <laughs> uh, what do we got here? Another Jeep. Oh, cool. So this is another American Jeep with a machine gun on it. Looks like... Uh, so American Jeep with machine gun. Really nice. And this is a crashed plane. So I believe Chris said this was good for the Kitty Hawk down mission. It's the same, the right size template. Painted up, you got your Kitty Hawk down for when you play that mission. Or it could just be a terrain piece as well. It's really nice. Looks like there's a tail that goes on it. So there's our down Kitty Hawk. Just a couple more things in here. Uh, ooh. Damn, what was that? So we got here a another piece of terrain. So this maybe looks like it's going to be a windmill or something of some type. Um, be my guess. I can get this open. But well, something else. Oh, it's another Jeep. But this time a crashed Jeep with a dead guy in it. Super cool. And this must be the rest of the terrain piece. I think. 
What in the? Oh, it's a graveyard. We gotta glue that back together. Now getting real messy here, yeah. So we got a graveyard. Pretty cool. A couple of columns on it that came off, but I'll glue those back on. And the last thing, no, to take it back, there's something else in here. This is an M30 rocket launcher. Cool. So is that the Howling Cow? I'm not sure what that is. M30. Sounds American. So multiple launcher there. And then the last thing in the box we have is a... What is this? Street lights, it looks like. I'm not sure what goes on top of this. I'll have to look around a little bit more. Oh, wait. Uh, maybe that's what this is? No. Can I go up there? Yeah, maybe. Looks about right. Maybe that's the windmill? I don't know. We'll figure it out. But uh, yeah, so the last thing in here was... I'm making a huge mess at this point. Some street lights, it looks like. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six street lights. So those would be nice to add uh, into our city boards. So yeah, that's it. That's a ton of stuff. Chris wasn't joking when he said he was just sending lots of different stuff. So uh, we'll have to figure out what to do with all this stuff. Maybe we'll give some of it away. But uh, let's go ahead and talk about our giveaway for, for this video. All right, so an amazing amount of stuff in that box. Thank you to Chris for sending it. Um, really cool box, lots of stuff in there that will be very useful to us. The French stuff, the German stuff, the Soviet stuff, the American stuff, the terrain. We have all that stuff, so it'll be nice additions to those. Um, there is a lot of it though, so maybe at a later date we'll give some of it away to some of our friends. But uh, the giveaway for this video, Chris has generously donated $50 of store credit to his Panacea Prince Etsy store. And if you want to win that, all you got to do is put in the comments, what is your New Year's hobby resolution? You're going to start a new army? You're going to start a new period? You're going to try to finish an army that you started last time? Uh, just a quick little uh, comment about what you want to do uh, hobby-wise in the new year. So uh, put that in the comments. We'll pick a winner at a later date in about a week from now. And that'll do it. So again, thanks to Chris. Thanks to everyone watching this. And Merry Christmas.